Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you back today for another reading. Before we begin with today's reading, I just wanted to remind you guys that there is a giveaway going on on my Instagram right now and there is only a little bit more time left to join. So if you're interested in participating, then the link to it is in the description. Okay, so for today's reading, uh, we have a reading about what door is the universe opening up for you, okay? So we have three piles to choose from. We have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Please feel free to choose any pile that you feel most drawn to, and then you can skip to the uh, timestamps, which are in the description, and I will see you guys at your reading. Hello, my beautiful pile number one. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be a reading on what door is the universe opening up for you, okay? So I'm going to begin first with your um, energies that I'm getting. And immediately what I'm getting here is that you are reaching your final destination. It's um, With this card, I'm always getting the message of... Um, there is light at the end of the tunnel. So I feel like you guys have been going through something and you're finally reaching that light. It's like the energy that I'm getting for you is not like the um, universe is opening up a door for you to like a totally new life and you're beginning something new and um, there's a lot of um, new things happening for you. For you, pal number one, I'm getting the energy that you have been going Um going on something going about something like you have been doing something for a while and i feel like it's finally peaking it's finally um you're finally reaching that end of the tunnel right uh it's like you're finally getting out of the tunnel that's the energy here that i'm getting with you so i feel like the door that's opening for you is the door of light the door of, the door of finally reaching your goal or like reaching your final destination whatever you have been like going at it I'm hearing you have been going at it, okay? So I feel like you're finally reaching that goal that you guys had or um, the final destination. But I feel like things are going to speed up for you here with this water. It's like I'm getting that things are going to come up to the surface for you. Um, so if you have been going through like the tunnel, if that's how you have felt lately, I feel like you guys are finally reach uh, reaching like the end of the tunnel. You're reaching the light, okay? So that's first the energy that I'm getting here. Let's take a look at your tarot cards and see what is this door going to look like for you or what is this doorway going to look like for you. I'm sorry about my voice, by the way. It's cracking for some reason a lot today, so I'm going to try my best. <laughs> okay, so for your first card, you have here the Child of Cups, which is the Page of Cups. You have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you know, the Ten of Swords represents... Um, ending of very painful cycles or just in general um, it represents the end of pain so I feel like if you guys have felt like you were stuck in the tunnel or if you felt like you were in the tunnel I feel like that's coming to an end okay you yeah you also have the five of pentacles okay and you have the four of swords so definitely i'm getting the energy that you have been patient here for a very long time okay and it's like i'm getting that things might have been moving for you guys but it might not have been kind of like the thing that you wanted to see i'm getting here it's like it's like this wolf is climbing the mountain and he's almost at the peak right and that's what i mentioned with you it's like you're finally reaching that peak, you're finally reaching your goal, your final destination. To me, this image is like this wolf had the goal to reach the top of the mountain. And I feel like that's with you. It's like you have a goal that you wanted to reach and you're finally reaching that goal. And guess what? There's a lot of abundance waiting for you up there, okay? I see that this is like, maybe it's, it's like in terms of like a goal or something. So as I said, the energy that I'm getting with you, it's not like there is a door opening up to you, up for you. Um, that's like a new life, right? That's not the energy that I'm getting here with you. It's the door that's opening here for you. It's about something that you have been doing for a while, but the door is opening up the success. Do you guys know what I mean? So if you have been working on something for a long time, or if you have been... 
Uh, I see that you guys have stayed very dedicated, very persistent at something. Um, even if you, even if necessarily you weren't seeing that much movement, I feel like you guys were seeing some kind of movement, but maybe not in the amount that you guys wanted to see. Okay, but it's like you're finally reaching the end of the tunnel, and you're almost there. You're almost at your goal. And here with the Child of Cups, which, which is the Page of Cups, it often, to me, represents luck. So I'm getting also the number 777. Maybe it's something that you have been seeing, uh, but 777 represents luck to me, okay? So this, you might get like a boost, I'm hearing. Like, things might, might start moving faster, you know? There, there's gonna be, I'm getting like a boost. Like, things have been slow, and then there's the boost... And you're finally reaching the final destination like that's here the energy that i'm getting but overall i'm seeing that there is an ending to waiting for you guys okay i'm ending to a slow moving energy i feel like things have been moving but slowly right and i feel like there's gonna be a quick boost and then that's gonna lead you to your final goal but overall there is the energy of that painful ending not a painful ending but the um, energy of feeling maybe stuck there that that's definitely ending for you guys okay and as i said you're you're reaching the end of the tunnel here for you guys that's the main message that i'm getting but let's take a look at your other cards and see more wow so you have beauty here and the chariot represents confidence to me okay so i feel like you guys are becoming more confident here there's something that's going to boost your confidence. I feel like I feel like you reaching this goal, it's what's going to boost your confidence. I'm getting that maybe some of you, you have had a goal maybe about um, like reaching some kind of fitness goal I'm hearing. Like maybe going to the gym, maybe it's losing weight, maybe it's um, working out and a kind of maybe you've had like a physique in mind that you wanted to reach okay so for some of you I feel like your goal maybe has to do with your beauty maybe you have been working on yourself on your outer appearance and that's the goal that you're reaching i feel like you guys are getting a little bit exhausted here but you're definitely here you're definitely like so close to your goal guys so the new door that's opening for you it's definitely you reaching your goal okay you're reaching your success for your next card, you guys have keep your dreams alive, okay? So Spirit is just asking you to be a little bit more patient here. I know it's so annoying, but it's just sometimes it's, it, it's just that, you know, just to be a little bit more patient. And you also have leap of faith, okay? So again, with this leap of faith, I'm getting like luck. I'm getting that there's going to be a sudden, sudden luck sudden change of faith for you guys right sudden change of luck for you guys if things again i feel like you guys are kind of losing spirit is saying keep your dreams alive because i feel like some of you are kind of losing a little bit of hope here but i feel like when you're towards the end it's it's always the hardest you know the way i like to think of it it's let's say when you go hiking when you're or you're climbing a mountain usually the the steepest part right the hardest part it's towards the end and then you reach the peak i feel like that's what's happening here for you guys it's like you're almost at the peak and this is like when it's like this is when it gets like the when you need to be most resilient i'm hearing okay so spirit is saying to keep your dreams alive because there is going to be a sudden change of luck for you and i'm hearing a boost of confidence so whatever is going to happen I feel like um, next for you, it's going to speed up things, it's going to make you more confident, and it's going to get you to reach your goal a lot faster here, okay, pile number one? Uh, for your next card, you have look at the bigger picture. So, so I feel like right now what's happening for you is you're just looking at what's right in front of you, right? And what's in front of you might be the steep, right? Might be like an obstacle, or might be... <sighs> It's like the energy that I'm feeling for you guys is that you are definitely have been going at something for a while. And again, you're getting towards the end and you're getting impatient, you're getting tired, you're getting exhausted. And you're just focusing on what's right in front of you. And that might be like a, another steep is what I'm hearing. 
but you don't know what's behind this deep, right? It might be the ending, right? It might be the final goal. So Spirit is saying, just look at where you are. The image that I'm getting, it's a big mountain, okay? And when you're in your position, what you see in front of you is the path, right? But if you look at it from like a, like a drone perspective, like, you know, from a bird perspective, I guess, you might see the mountain and you might see the person is really close to the top, but they can't see it because they don't look at it from that perspective, right? So I feel like what's Spirit asking you here to do is just look at the bigger picture. Look at where you actually are. Don't focus on what, what's like in front of you, but focus on your whole surroundings because I feel like you will realize that you're actually a lot closer than you think. Because right now I feel like you guys are just too focused on maybe like a current obstacles, obstacle that you're coming across and you're not looking at the bigger picture and seeing that you're actually really close. So that's here the end message that I'm getting. Let's take a look at your other cards. You have the observer. Yeah, just like um, Spirit is telling you, don't look so up close. Okay, because you need to look at the bigger picture. You need to look from the distance I'm hearing, okay? That's a message that you guys need to hear. And you also have, wow, you have keys on trees. So you see how this, again, there's like stairs. There is some kind of like reaching with you guys, definitely. It's like you're finally, you have been climbing these stairs and these stairs are going round and round. So it, it might, I feel like you guys have been through a lot of cycles and this is where the Ten of Swords comes in. It's like the ending of the cycle. So if, if you guys have been feeling you have been going round and round and round, that's definitely coming to an end. And I feel like you're finally reaching the peak, you're finally reaching the top. And there is the success waiting for you. The answer is up there, right? I feel like you guys are reaching some kind of milestone here, some kind of peak, some kind of goal. That's kind of a main message here that I'm getting with you. I feel like that's the door that's opening up for you. The door that's opening up for you is your goal. You're reaching your goal. You're reaching the top, okay? reaching the peak and for your final message you guys have elegance and patience and did i say that you just need to be patient a little longer nature does not hurry yet everything is accomplished exactly you guys okay let me read that let me read that again elegance and patience nature does not hurry yet everything is accomplished so you guys are definitely accomplishing some kind of goal right that's what i have been saying this whole reading um i feel like you guys are definitely reaching some kind of goal of yours or like a finish line you're accomplishing something okay and i feel like you guys are getting a little bit impatient you're getting a little bit like you're losing faith but spirit is saying like just look at the bigger picture look at where you actually are because again you're just seeing the obstacle in front of you but if you look at it from like a bird perspective, you might be just like, like the the top might be right around the corner. That's what I want to say, right? You're definitely reaching the end, of the end of the tunnel and there's a lot of lightness, okay? I feel like that's the door that's opening for you guys is you're reaching your goal and you're going to have the boost on, you're going to get the boost of confidence, okay? So beautiful reading pal number one i hope that this uh, message resonated with you if it didn't please leave a like and a comment and i hope to see you guys in my next reading bye guys hello my beautiful pal number two if you guys chose this pile then this is going to be your reading on what door is the universe opening for you okay so the first energy that i'm getting here with you because you guys chose the full card by the way the full card is represents new beginnings so i feel like what door is opening up for you is the door to a new beginning okay i'm getting the energy that a lot of you where you are right now you might feel safe but you also feel stuck okay so i'm getting the energy some of you might be choosing a new direction to pursue you might be stepping away from something in order to pursue something new here, okay? I'm hearing travel is also possible for some of you. Some of you might be traveling to a new destination. You might be moving to a new destination, okay? There is some kind of risk factor here because with the fool, there is a risk here, okay? But I feel like you guys are craving that change. You guys are up to take the risk. I feel like a lot of you are feeling very adventurous because you have felt so safe 
I'm hearing a lot of you have felt very safe where you are for a very long time and it's getting boring. It's getting stuck, right? And you guys are craving some kind of change. So I feel like the door that's opening up for you is the door to a new beginning for you guys, okay? And I'm getting the message that you, whatever you picture, that's what's going to be, okay? I feel like your thoughts, imagination, visualization is going to play a really big part in here, okay? So Spirit is saying whatever you're visualizing, whatever you're manifesting, that's going to be your new beginning here. Okay, pile number two. Let's take a look at your other cards and see more about what door is opening up for you. So for your first card, you have the Explorer of Cups. So you're definitely exploring something, right? The Fool is the Explorer. I feel like you guys are gonna... I'm hearing unknown. So you guys are going to be coming across something unknown, something you've never done before. You also have the Explorer of Pentacles, okay? You have the Ten of Wands. And for your, wow, you guys have the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is the wish fulfillment, okay? Let me begin here, I'm so excited. So first of all, I just want to say that we have here the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands, it's interesting because pile number one got the Ten of Swords and you have the Ten of Wands. And the Ten usually represents the ending of a cycle. And because we have the Ten and right after we have the Fool, so I feel like you guys are definitely beginning hear something new um the door that's opening up for you it's to a new life okay that's the message i'm getting to something unknown something that you guys have never done before a lot of you could want to explore a new direction for your career okay you might be like on the move to maybe find a new career or a way to make money from your passion i'm hearing okay but because of the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups represents our wish, right? And I was saying in the beginning, the new beginning that's awaiting for you, a big role that's going to play in, it's your visual, visualization, your imagination, your manifestation. And the Nine of Cups is our manifestation, right? We receiving our manifestation. So I feel like whatever you guys are imagining, whatever you guys want your new beginning to look like, whatever you want this new life to look like for you, I feel like that's what you're going to be stepping into. That's the door that's opening up for you. Some of you are going to be receiving a manifestation after a very, very long period of time. I'm hearing some of you have had a very hard time manifesting something in your life or in general, it has been very slow. And I feel like this has to do with your career, okay? So, and something else that I'm hearing for you guys is that this new door that's opening up for you, it's going to lead to your manifestation. That's going to kind of push you in the direction of your new life, or I guess open up the opportunity for a new life for you. So I feel like it's kind of the energy, like you open the door and the first thing that greets you is your manifestation. And then when you pass by it, there's a whole new life for you guys, okay? So definitely, if you've, ha if you've had a long... I'm hearing this is one specific thing. So I feel like a lot of you have had a lot of difficulties manifesting one specific thing. And I feel like that's coming to an end because we have the Ten of Wands. And you're finally receiving your wish, which is going to send you on your new path, on your new way. And again, because we have the cups and the pentacles, these are slowly moving energy. So that's why I feel like this manifestation was coming very slow. And I feel like it has to do something with your career, with a passion of yours, with a hobby of yours, okay? But it's finally reaching you is what I'm getting here. Okay, pile number two, let's take a look at your oracle cards now. So for your first card... You guys have good luck. Okay, so I love, I, I love this. Okay, if you guys see like black cats, like outside, this is like, that's going to be confirmation from spirit, I feel like. So definitely there's a lucky new adventure waiting for you, okay? I feel like whatever is going to happen again, it's going to feel very lucky because the Nine of Cups also represents luck. So I feel like 
this manifestation coming to you, it's going to feel very lucky because it's coming after, after a very long time and after a lot of difficulties, okay? So I feel like your manifestation arriving is going to feel very lucky. And I feel like this whole new door that's opening up for you, it's also going to feel, it's going to feel very lucky. Um, I'm hearing there's going to be like a lot of tiny things along the way that happen that, that are just lucky. That makes you feel like you're aligned with the universe and that you're very protected, okay? But I'm seeing a, a manifestation here coming for you for sure. And definitely a new lucky beginning, okay? If you guys have felt like there was some kind of difficulty here that I'm getting. And I feel like this has to do with the manifestation of yours, okay? So things are about to speed up and things are going to get more lucky for you, okay? For your next card, you have, wow, guys, you have new possi new experiences and possibilities. So definitely there's like the whole new beginning open up, opening up for you. And I said this with pile number one. For them, it didn't feel like a new beginning. For them, it felt like it was they are reaching a goal. That was the door that was opening up for them. But for you, it's the energy of like a new beginning, of a totally new life. You know, I'm just getting the energy like you're moving to... A totally new country and you're living in a totally new like apartment or house and you have like a lot of new possibilities a lot of new experiences right and all of this is unknown to you i did mention that you're coming across something unknown so it's like i'm getting the energy your life is gonna get a lot more exciting because there is gonna be a lot more possibilities and a lot more new experiences and i feel like this is for majority of you this is going to be within the field of your career so there's going to be a lot more new possibilities if things have felt very hard at work i'm getting because the ten of wands also represents us working really hard but maybe you have been working really hard but not seeing the results i feel like there's going to be the like a good luck coming for you that's going to open up this whole new beginning for you guys and there's going to be a that's going to unlock a lot more new possibilities in your um career in the career area of your life maybe some of you are moving somewhere in order to pursue something because that place might offer more opportunities right or possibilities so that's what i'm getting here you also have the big picture right so you guys are definitely getting here a manifestation and this is not a small wish come true for you guys I feel like a lot of you have been visualizing lately and manifesting what you want your life to look like. Meaning, the place that you live, the friends that you have, the way that you dress, your finances, your career. I feel like you guys have been visualizing, picturing the whole thing, your whole life, how you, how exactly you want it to look like. And I feel like that's what you, that's the new door that's opening up for you. Okay, it's literally the door to the, to the, to the life of your dreams, I'm hearing. So definitely you guys are receiving here the big picture. You're coming across with something unknown, right? But it's what you've always wanted, I'm hearing. It's gonna feel unknown because you're not currently living that life. But it's the dream life. It's the life that, you, that you've always wanted, okay? You also have the energy is gaining momentum. Wow, and do you know what message I, I heard here? Um, I don't know if this is like a thing in your country. But we have like this saying, uh, usually, and especially, this is like the time <laughs> for this. When when it gets cold in my country, um, usually like the birds leave in like the warmer area of, um, of the world. I think it's like the south. I think you call it the, so um, the south. I'm sorry, I'm not very familiar with the terms in English. But we have this saying that like the birds are going to their new home in the part of the world that it's more warm because here it's getting too cold right and here we have the energy is getting momentum and with these birds i'm seeing that you guys are going towards your next home somewhere where it um it it, it might feel more warm in the sense of like you feel more at home you feel more at peace okay i'm definitely seeing the energy here for you is a new home as well it's like your dream home somewhere where you will actually feel at home and again this has to do with definitely with the manifestation so 
um, just keep doing, keep visualizing, keep imagining, because the energy is gaining momentum. I feel like you're finally meeting the vibration in order for this to manifest in your reality, okay? Wow, you guys have bloom, especially with the pink here. So the energy is gaining momentum and bloom. Definitely, it's about to happen for you guys very soon. And I feel like you guys can feel it. You can feel the energy is getting closer. The energy is getting stronger. I feel like your visualizations are improving. You're getting the clear image. So definitely, it's about to happen. And, and notice how we have a lot of this sunset energy here. The colors are very similar. So I feel like this is definitely the new door that's opening up for you again. It's like your manifestation, your you manifesting your dream life. And there's also going to be improvement in your career, new possibilities, new opportunities in your career. But things are about to start blooming for you guys. If you felt like things were really hard to manifest, I feel like things are finally going to start manifesting here. Wow, and you have liberty, which is freedom. And I was mentioning the birds, right? And we have the bird here coming out of the cage. So I feel like definitely you guys have are moving somewhere where it's going to feel more at home, where it's going to feel more at peace. Okay, I feel like you guys are leaving behind something. Because where you are right now, again, I mentioned at the beginning, it might feel safe, but you guys are bored of feeling safe. You guys want to experience something new, and I feel like that's exactly what you're doing here, okay? And for your last message, wow, a lot of pink with your pile. Uh, we have here, I do not know how to pronounce that. I'm so sorry. But we have Grant Me a Single Smile. Sweet William Small has form and aspect, and aspect bright, like the sweet flower that yields great um, delight. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm sorry you guys, I'm so bad at reading, but English is not my first language, so, um, I, I hope that you can read this for yourself, let me just focus it, so that you can get a better view, and maybe read it for yourself, but there's a lot of pink happening with your pile, right, and with bloom, like, the, wow, this is so crazy. Look at these two cards. I love that there's a lot of pink with your pile. I'm hearing excitement and risk and things are going to be more fun. Things are going to be more colorful, more exciting again. There's a lot of excitement coming to your life. And the first step when you open the door again, you're going to be like met in the face with your manifestation. And then when you walk through it, it's gonna be your dream life. That's the image here that I'm getting with you, pile number two. Really interesting reading. I'm so happy to hear this for you, pile number two. I hope this reading resonated with you. If it didn't, please leave a like and a comment, and I hope to see you guys in my next reading. Bye, guys. Hello, my beautiful pile number three. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading on what door is the universe opening up for you. Okay, so you guys chose here the judgment card. And I always associate the judgment card with the prayer being answered, okay? With this image here, I feel like you guys are moving from winter to spring. So in winter, things are usually cold, right? Things don't usually grow. But in the spring, things start to bloom. And they start to... Nature starts looking... Um, more pretty, right? So I feel like that's what's happening here for you. I'm also hearing a lot of you, maybe you have been dealing with like a creative block because I'm getting the energy that you guys are getting more inspired. You guys are getting more excited about something. Maybe you have been, again, dealing with some kind of creative block and you're finally getting um, how to finish something. You're finally getting an idea how to finish something or maybe how to even start something. I feel, I feel like a lot of you are finally seeing that something is possible. And this is coming, I'm hearing there's a lot about the divine here with your pile. In this new door, definitely, the, um, there's a lot of involvement of the divine. The divine is helping you and I'm here, they're sending you downloads. So I feel like a lot of you are getting inspired, you're getting new ideas. 
and this is all coming from the divine okay they're looking after you if you have been praying for answers for something like that i feel like that's also coming but i'm getting strong energy with the divine and i'm also hearing release control because the divine is going to take care of it so there's a lot about i feel like a lot of you especially in this pile have been like praying a lot okay and asking the universe for answers for ideas for change so let's see what door is opening up for you pile number three you have here three of pentacles okay so collaboration is possible for you wow you have the guardian of wands which is the queen of wands so definitely you are getting a lot of inspiration here i'm, I'm seeing you're getting let me just see the other cards and I will get into it. Okay, the High Priestess, definitely. So I feel like you guys are definitely connected a lot with the Divine and your intuition is really high. And you have been definitely praying for something here. And also the Hierophant. First of all, I'm going to begin with this side. Okay, so I feel like, again, a lot of you have been calling up on the universe for help or to god to whoever you believe in i feel like you have been definitely contacting the higher powers let's say in order to help you with something and maybe bring clarity um to something in your life or give you like and i feel like the answers the way your prayer is being answered is in the form of you receiving a lot of new ideas and i feel like this is connected with your with your work again i feel like a lot of you are getting really inspired you're getting excited to begin something it's like you're getting a lot of inspiration and you're, you're ready to do something here three of pentacles could mean that you're collaborating with someone on this or you might be meeting new people who are going to help you bring this idea to fruition which again is like collaboration so i'm, I'm seeing collaboration is definitely a possibility here for you oh my god notice how the colors here match this queen of wands so i feel like right now you're outside here in the winter and when you walk the door that's opening up the universe right when you walk through the door you're gonna be met by this which is like your inspiration here i feel like a lot of you are getting inspired you're getting a lot of new ideas and there's a lot of help coming from the divine with you i'm definitely feeling that the divine is here extremely present with you especially because of the judgment card is usually caused when we call upon help right when a prayer of ours is being answered so let's look at your oracle cards um actually i want to begin with this card okay talent yes you guys are definitely like either this what this door is opening up for you it's either a talent that you never knew you had and you're kind of the energy it's kind of like let's say you've never really danced in your life but this can be like with anything and you suddenly get the urge to dance and you go to a dance class and you're like oh my god i'm actually like this is like naturally i'm really naturally good at this or i'm actually enjoying this a lot and it's going to make you more inspired to do something in your future. Or others of you, again, this has to do with your talent. Maybe a lot of you have been dealing with like a creative block or not knowing how to pursue your talent. I see that happening for you, okay? I'm associating your pile a lot with artists. So again, it's like maybe you didn't know how to make your dream possible, how to use your talent. And then with the three of pentacles there is collaboration it's kind of like the en the energy of like an agency or an man or a management is stepping in to manage your talent to make your dreams possible right but again there's a lot of divine play into this and i'm hearing don't in interfere okay i'm hearing that you need to release control and you need to not interfere in whatever is happening right now you also have maintain your childlike spirit. So, okay, let me look at the other card because this is so exciting, you guys. Okay, you have clear endeavor. And we see the winter here coming into spring. So definitely, okay, what I was saying in the beginning, it's like you're going from winter to spring. And 
here, the message that I'm getting with this clear endeavor, it's like the path is being cleared out for you. It, it, the path is going to be, I'm hearing very simple. It's going to feel very natural, okay? It's going to flow very easily for you. And with this maintain your childlike spirit, I'm getting that you need to release the control, okay? Because the divine will help you. Here is like divine intervention, okay? You cannot do anything about this. And it's best for you to release the control, because the divine will give you the exact outcome that you guys want. And also, with this maintain your childlike spirit, I feel like a lot of you have been so stressed um, about this. Like, you have tried to be in control so much. And I feel like that's what has caused that, like, creative block that I was talking about. So it's like, you need to have more fun. You need to release the control. And you will gain a lot of inspiration, I'm hearing. So do things that you did as a child that will make you again like dancing right or just in general listening to a movie or maybe watching i'm hearing like barbie maybe watching a barbie movie maybe you like watching barbie movies i don't know that that was so random but there is definitely a door that the door that's opening up for you is the door that will walk like you will walk through the door that's going to lead to your talent you're either discovering a new talent or you're learning how to use your talent or how to how to like how to make your talent a job i'm hearing okay that's here the energy that i'm getting with you for your next card okay you guys have have faith in your dreams here so it's like you, you need to have faith you need to trust the divine in this you cannot really do anything you just need to have faith Right? I feel like you guys are doing your part and you also just need to trust the divine, to have faith that you can do this. And you also got one more card. Oh my god, you guys, I cannot make this up, literally. <laughs> it says surrender to the divine. So whatever you guys are like worried about or trying to control, I feel like a lot of you know that this is like not working. So like just surrender it, just release the control. Because that's what's going to open up the door. I feel like you releasing the control, it's going to open up the door. And everything is going to feel more natural. It's going to move in a more natural and flowy way for you, okay? But you're definitely discovering a talent or how to use your talent here. And I'm hearing a lot of you are like artists. Like a lot of you want to do maybe be a singer, be an actress, a model maybe, like... um painter or something like that okay there's a lot of spotlight energy here with you pile number three for your next card you have pure nature so i feel like everything is just gonna start flowing a lot more naturally here for you you just kind of need to release the control okay and you also have a home in the sky so some of you could be moving. If you felt drawn to pile number two, then I highly suggest you go check out that pile because I also feel like you might resonate with some parts of it. But you might be moving, okay? You might be traveling in order to pursue this dream of yours to a different place. You might get the opportunity to work with some people abroad, I'm hearing, okay? Because of the Three of Pentacles. Um, but overall, I feel like, again, you're you're gaining a lot more inspiration, like, things are gonna um, be more colorful for you. Whereas before, you might, again, it's kind of like it's the transition between winter and spring, right? That's the energy here that I'm getting with you. So let's take a look at your last card, pile number three. You have intelligence and mental beauty. Wisdom is the abstract of the past, but beauty is the promise of the future. So definitely your future is looking really promising here pile number three i feel like a lot of you are going to get discovered i'm hearing it's like your talent is going to get discovered especially with the three of pentacles and the queen of wands there might be somebody stepping in here to guide you how to use your talent which again is like the energy of like a management like you have this talent but you don't know how to use it and then there's like somebody stepping in like an agency a company somebody stepping in to manage your talent that's a big energy here that I'm getting with you. There is some kind of promise about your future here. And again, the, the universe is saying, like, don't, you can't control this. Like, this is not in your hands. You're just going to have to have faith in your dream 
and this is not like in a bad way like you cannot control the outcome right i feel like we can always um you know the future is not real the past is not real and i feel like we always create our experiences along the way so that's not what i'm saying at all it's like you just keep visualizing on the end goal and leave the rest to the universe don't um try to control how it happens don't try to control um your next step just focus on the end goal because spirit is saying you cannot do anything about the way that this is gonna happen okay because this is gonna be divine intervention for you guys like this is the divine doing the work for you you just need to focus on the end goal and again there might be like a mentor some kind of work collaboration happening here your talent might be discovered by like agencies managements right people abroad especially so that's here that and again uh things are gonna be more natural just let things to flow naturally okay that's the energy that i'm getting here with you pile number three i hope that this message resonated with you if it didn't please leave a like and a comment and i hope to see you guys in the next reading bye guys